Hey, I want to show you this diminished idea that I think is really cool. Now, naturally occurring in a diminished scale is three, excuse me, four triads that are major as well as four triads that are minor. We're going to focus on the major ones. Now, let's talk about a diminished scale really quick. A diminished scale, for instance, if I'm going to play a C7 chord, and if I play a C sharp diminished scale over that, it's going to make it sound like a flat 913. So I get this kind of sound. Now, that scale is starting on C sharp is whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. Now that's a C sharp diminished scale. Now a C dominant diminished scale is actually the same thing, only I'm starting on the note C and starting with a half step. So that just that makes it just sound right to a C sharp diminished. It's they're the same thing. So that's the confusion. The, the dominant diminished would start on, let's say, the root of the chord that I want to play over like C7. I would start on C with a, then move up a half step, then go through my whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. Okay, so that's the difference between the two scales. Now, now I would use that scale over the five chord moving to a one chord. It could be major or minor. But now within that scale, there are, like I said, four major, major arpeggios, triads, major arpeggio, major triads. We're going to play as an arpeggio, and those are a minor third apart. So the first one's C arpeggio. The second one is a minor third, which would be E flat. So it's an E flat major arpeggio. Minor third up from that, G flat. And the minor third up from that is A. So now it sounds like this. And I could keep going. like that. <laughs> now, let's go close up. I want to show you a couple things. Now, this has a certain shape to it, right? Now, a lot of guys play this lick, where it's starting a C and also on G flat. So only two of those major chords, and then it repeats. That's a cool sound. <clears throat> now I like to play it like this. Look at here's a C and here's a G flat. And then I go up a minor third and then I get my next one, which is an E flat major triad to an A. So now I have a certain shape. could go like this. That's a cool sound, right? Now look at, what if I, here's my opening phrase that I played for you. Then, now I went up another minor third. And another minor third. And then I went G flat to C. Let's go play it backwards. Um, uh, what, what happened there? 
G flat, and then I think we went E flat, right? And then A, C, Like that. So isn't that a cool sound? I could just take any major scale shape and play it up. When you take a major scale shape, you can just move it in minor thirds. That's all well and good, and it's it's kind of neat. Play one up, one down. Now, there's other ways of doing it. Check this one out. So here I'm going, my playing my arpeggio of the C, root 5, 3 instead of 1, 3, 5. And then coming down, playing 1, 3, 5. Now I could do the same thing here on the... So you, you, it's almost endless on some of the ideas you can do with this. Let's go close up once more. If I approach this as playing across the neck with major arpeggios, I could get something like this. And then coming down to E flat. So. Then I could go something like that. So here's another cool lick. You dig? Here's another idea. show you one more. Here's a cool little one. I'm going down a C triad. Going up on G flat. Now notice the C, the fifth, just moves down and there's my root. Take that symmet symmetrically down in a minor third. Boy, that's a keeper. If you like this, hey, come to 99 Cent Guitar Lessons. Get on, on the side menu, it says Scales and Technique. Click on that. Go on down to Diminished Studies. Everybody should really be uh, uh, comfortable playing Diminished and learn how to plug it into your playing, okay? Really important. I will talk at you later. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed this.